someday. In the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, May the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And before I forget, let me put in a shameless plug for the Buck Creek Festival next weekend, Friday and Saturday. If you have a chance, come on out to Old Town Helena and the Buck Creek Park and uh, for a great, great music festival with lots of food and all kinds of things. And the best news is it's free. Well, let's take a look at uh, the Sky Cam, and there's a look at uh, Fultondale, a beautiful sunrise shot this morning. And once again, can never help but enjoy the shot over the Tennessee River where we see the uh, Sky Cam there at Decatur. High pressure at the surface uh, over the northern gulf is cutting off the moisture and keeping us in good weather. And because of the upper atmosphere flow with the trough finally coming by, this is the trough that brought us all the bad weather for the first part of the week, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the trough has been, uh, the big trough has finally been getting by us. But uh, that has kept us in a northwesterly flow pattern. So we had a cool morning to start the day today and a coolish morning yesterday. But this morning I noticed... Uh, our uh, Black Creek Sky Watcher, Vic Bell, reporting 37 degrees. So, ooh, cool. And it's May. That's amazing. Temperatures across the country, though, looking pretty good across the area. The only freezing value I see is actually in the mountains of Arizona. So some, uh, some beautiful weather across the vast fruited plain, as James calls it. The uh, QPF pretty much gives you the forecast for the next five days with dry weather expected, and it looks like we'll probably get through half of the weekend next weekend with good weather. Storm Prediction Center has no organized severe storms forecast, and that's always good news. The 06E GFS model run this morning and the surface high pressure over the northern gulf will keep the moisture away from us, and we see that that... Um, Migrates a little bit further to the east, but stays over the northern gulf on Sunday. In the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, that trough moseys on by, and we come under a ridge by Sunday. We're beginning to get under that ridge. The ridge becomes even stronger and broader on Monday and Tuesday. Woo, pumps up pretty strong in response to the trough coming in onto the west coast and coming into southern California. And that ridge is going to be pretty, pretty strong. It pumps up even stronger on uh, Wednesday. But uh, once again, this looks pretty reasonable as the trough over to the west advances slowly eastward. But that should keep us pretty uh, nice weather as the high over the eastern half of the country uh, manages to keep moisture shunted off uh, well to our west. The trough stays uh, pretty big over the, uh, pretty deep over the, the uh, Rockies, but that also helps to keep our ridge in good shape. So the effect is it's the ridge is almost acting like a shield. You can see the extensive ridge going all the way from the southwestern Gulf all the way up into the Great Lakes. Not much changes uh, uh, with the, the ridge location on Friday, but we do see the ridge dampening a little bit in response to those short waves moving across the top of the ridge. But that should still keep uh, our Friday in good shape. As a matter of fact, probably even Saturday, uh, the ridge does show signs of weakening on Saturday, but still the main weather system is well to our west. Now, we're verging on voodoo country, uh, so we may have to adjust the timing. But right now, the GFS, as well as the Europeans, suggesting that any weather would be well to our west for the first half of next weekend. Now, going uh, even further out into voodoo country, Monday the 12th, it looks like the trough finally pushes the ridge on out and comes across the eastern half of the country. So that looks like a kind of a wet Mon um, Sunday and into early Monday. And then we dry out with another ridge coming in on uh, Friday the 16th. And that ridge uh, stays with us and actually uh, comes uh, more of a Bermuda ridge, Bermuda High, with uh, the 588 uh, contour that you see over and just off the southeast coast of the U.S. So that looks like a relatively benign pattern with uh, May, at least perhaps the first half of it, being relatively dry. 
Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.